Good evening, Carla. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, great. Tell me about your day. How was it? ¿Qué tal su día? Good, good. Very good. Okay, great. What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo? In the morning, um, in vacation. Oh, you're still in vacation? Great. Yeah, but uh, tomorrow morning um, at the war. You have to work, okay. So vacation is over, it finished. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but it's nice. You had some, some more days, right? That is good. Yeah. All right, nice. And how are you doing with the platform, Carla? Um, um... No, no he avanzado mucho, solamente lo, de, lo del cuatro que estoy como a medias. Pero sí, ya este, esta semana termino, cuatro y cinco. Ok, that's fine. You should continue working. Remember, eh, we're finishing next week, so it's important for you to, to complete the exercises as soon as possible, ok? Yeah. All right, good. And any questions about the topics we have been studying? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de los temas que hemos estado estudiando o algo? Pregunta, pregunta. <coughs> Quizás. No, 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 por el momento no. Bien, ok. ¿Qué te ha parecido la plataforma? ¿Cómo sientes los ejercicios y todo el material ahí? Lo siento bastante bien, pero hay algo que eh, no me, bueno, no, no sé, ¿verdad? Si, si es mi percepción o no, ¿verdad? Okay. Pero este, siento yo que eh, avanzar en los ejercicios antes de que usted, digamos, nos explique o algo, uh -huh. yo lo siento ex algo extraño, porque siento yo uh -huh. como que eh, debería de ser al revés, ¿verdad? O sea, de que uh, primero veamos o sea, todo lo que es lo de la plataforma y después uno trabaja en ella ya con los ejercicios y todo lo demás. Pero también está la, la otra opción, digamos, de que uno haya estudiado un día antes una lección X y que el día que vayamos a ver este, hagamos las preguntas respecto a, a lo que ya vimos ¿verdad? sin embargo siento yo que que uno avanza, avanza, avanza demasiado rápido este, y tal vez todavía no se han visto algunos temas entonces bueno no, no, no sé pero no sé cómo es que lo enfocan ustedes eso ahí Sí, comprendo, de hecho eh, la segunda opción que usted me me ha comentado, es la que nosotros manejamos, ¿verdad? Se pretende uh -huh. que ustedes vayan eh, avanzando con el material de apoyo, porque también, pues, los videos son explicativos, ¿verdad? No es, uh -huh. no son muy extensos y no Exacto. es eh, tanta información, pero sí le explican acerca del tema. ¿verdad? Entonces, así la idea es. es que ustedes vayan viendo los videos y así, pues, van eh, teniendo una, un, eh, ¿qué les digo? Un pincelazo, ¿verdad? Así de la, de la información. Y pueden desarrollar los ejercicios y luego pues las videoconferencias son de apoyo. Entonces eh, ustedes vienen con sus preguntas y acá las resolvemos. O si no, pues igual yo traigo material para apoyarles con distintos temas. Pues esa es la, la modalidad. ¿verdad? O sea, yo, yo entiendo y está bien. Lo que yo no, no siento mucho es el hecho de que se tenga que avanzar tanto. Es decir... Sí. Si fueran, por decir un ejemplo, dos lecciones, las lecciones que se van a ver el otro día, por decir un ejemplo, que se vieran un día anterior, que uno las viera un día anterior, 
para reforzarlas el día siguiente, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Pero si uh -huh. digamos, uh -huh. alguien ya está, ya está alguien allá en el 5 y todavía nosotros no hemos visto, pero ni el ni el 2, ni el 3, o, o qué sé uh -huh. yo, este, se, y empieza a preguntar uh -huh. el otro, ¿verdad? Que está allá en el 5, por decir, uh -huh. este, como que no se, no se uh -huh. siente como que todos vamos a, a lo mismo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí. y, y si a todos nos dicen, mire, terminen ya, por ejemplo, uh -huh. eh, a algunas personas, pues no, no entendemos tan rápido un tema como uh -huh. para pasarlo así uh -huh. tan rápido. Si no, no, no aprende uno, sino que simple y sencillamente uh -huh. va llenando por inercia. ¿Verdad? Yes. Entonces, no, no, bueno, pero esa es mi percepción nada más. No okay. sé. Yeah, I get it, and thanks for sharing it. Uh, well, if you have any questions, if you need any help, just let me know, okay? Okay. All right, let's see. Good evening, Elmer Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Elmer? I'm fine. Okay, great. Nice. So, how was your day? Excuse me? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Um, I'm tired. Oh. More, more I'm tired. Okay, yeah. You had to work. Yes. Then, okay. I work every day. <laughs> every day, yeah. Like all adults, right? <laughs> Okay, and the platform, Elmer, have you finished? Finish the, the platform? Yes. You're yes, done. teacher. Okay. Yes. All right, nice. Yes, finish. Okay, excellent. Let's see, Maricela Valdivieso. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, ayer no me pude conectar, teacher, porque me sentía un poco mal de salud. No sé si se grabó la clase. Yes, all classes are recorded and they are in the playlist. Por ahí está en nuestra playlist de, de YouTube, están todas las clases, siempre las grabamos. Ah, ok, voy a buscarla entonces. Ok. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Daisy Saray, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Daisy? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, great. And how was your day? Good. Nice. And nice. the platform, Daisy, have you finished? finished. Done. Finished. All right, nice. Did you get your certificate? Excuse Did you get your certificate? Yes. You did. Okay. Congratulations. Nice. Gracias. Okay. Eduardo Omar, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Um, I went to work. Okay. Also, uh, I went to dentist. Today, oh, right. yep, yeah, mm, and return it at, at home. And I watched uh, TV, mm -hmm. and I have a certified. Oh, uh, what is it? What kind of certification is it? Ah, uh, the uh, English. Oh, you I'm got finished. it today. You're done. Mm -hmm. Very well. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good evening. All right. Good evening, Janet. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Good. Yeah. I can't complain. I'm all right. Thanks. Oh. How was your day? It's very, very good. Mm, yes. Okay, I'm yeah. glad to hear that. And what? the platform, what? I'm huh? glad to hear that, I said. And the platform, Janet, have you finished? Uh, repeat, please. In... 
Yes, the platform. Have you finished? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Yes. yes I okay. uh, All right. Very good, Janet. And let me see Arminda Cruz. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good. Okay, nice. I'm glad to hear that. And uh, tell me about the platform. Have you finished working on it? No, todavía no, no he podido terminar. Okay. Pero, what section pero voy a are you in? De terminar antes del, del lunes. Okay. All right, that's fine. Keep going. And remember that if you need help, I'm here to, to help you, to give you a hand, okay? Okay. All right, so good evening, everybody, and welcome to our class. We're going to start right away. Let's see. So this is our class number 12, and we are going to talk about possessives. Remember that yesterday we talked about clothes. We also reviewed the colors, right? So let's talk about colors. Let's review them. Tell me a, what color are your clothes? Let's see, Julio, what color are your clothes? The color is red, for okay. example. Can you repeat it, please? I couldn't hear you. It's red. Oh, your t-shirt is red? Mm -hmm. Good. What color are your shoes? Yellow. Yellow. All right. Nice. You got yellow shoes. Okay. Thanks, Julio. Now let me see. Daisy Sarai, what color are your clothes? Um, green. Green. You got a green blouse or what is it? Hey. <laughs> Don't worry. Hey. So is it a green blouse? Is your blouse green? Ah. Mm. Um, and yes. tell me. Blouse, okay. blouse green. Okay, you've got a green blouse. Excellent. And how about your shoes? White. They're white. Are you wearing jeans? Blue. They're blue, okay. All right, nice, Daisy. Thanks. Thank you. Let's see, Juan Carlos. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Tell me about your clothes. What color are they? Uh, the color of my t shirt is green. Okay. And are you wearing shorts or pants? Uh, shorts. Uh, shorts. Are what color? It's black. The color is black. Black shirts, okay. Black and your shorts. shoes? Uh, the color of my shoes is blue. Blue, okay, nice, thanks. Maria Jose, tell us about your clothes. Good evening, teacher. Uh, my blouse is gray and pants black and sandals. You were in sandals, what color are they? Is black. They are black. Okay. All right. Thank you, Maria Jose. Maricela Salinas. Good evening. Can you tell us about your clothes? Blouse is black. Mm -hmm. My okay. shirt is light blue. Okay. And my sandal sandals are black. All right, very well, Marcela, thanks. Thank you. And Janet, Jennifer, how about your clothes? Hi, can you tell us about your clothes? Como, perdón. Can you tell us about your clothes? What color are um, your clothes? Uh, the yellow is blouse. Your blouse uh, is yellow, okay. 
high heels is the dark gray. Okay, dark gray high heels. And short is blue. Blue shorts. Okay, very well. Thanks for sharing. All right, so let's continue by talking about possessives. In this class, you will learn how to use possessives in order to describe belongings of things. So let's go to the platform and we're watching video 4.5. Then we're going to explain uh, something about the topic and we are going to develop some practice. So let's Okay, pay attention, please. Long enough things. If you recall the conversation. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe the long enough things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster which you learned on our previous lesson, mm -hmm. you heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, Our clothes are dry. <laughs> Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No. It's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my. and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your <coughs> and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is 
when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And now um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mention at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. <laughs> This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out. And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex's t-shirt, The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe as. Now is your turn. Okay, so that is what we have regarding possessives. So we have three different kinds of possessives. We have possessive adjectives, my, your, his, here, our, and there. Possessive pronouns, mine, yours, his, hers, ours, and theirs. And there's another way to express possession, which is using the possessive s. So we're going to explain the three of them or the three forms in a moment, I just want you to focus on the question. Whenever you need to know um, about the possession or the owner of, of something, you use this. 
this word, whose. Whose would mean the quien, like whose blouse is this? The quien es esta blusa, right? The quien, whose. It's to, to ask about possession, right? To ask about the owner of something. Esta palabra la utilizamos para preguntar sobre posesión, sobre eh, quién es el dueño de algo, right? Whose blouse is this? Whose jeans are these? De quién son estos jeans, right? So that is the WH word we use for asking about possession. Now let's take a look at how to use the different kinds of possessives. First thing we have is possessive adjectives. We use possessive adjectives to express possession. Some examples, this is my sister. As you see, we say my sister, right? So I'm indicating that the sister is not somebody else's, but mine, right? My sister. His pillow is soft, his pillow. So you see that I'm talking about a pillow that belongs to a man, right? His pillow. Then here I have, this is her phone number. I'm talking about hair, hair phone number, right? It's not my phone number, it's hair phone number. Your laptop is black. Your laptop is black. So once again, I'm indicating that it's your laptop, the one I'm referring to, it belongs to you. Our bird is noisy. The bird is ours, our bird. Their house is beautiful, their house. So you see, I use the, the different possessive adjectives to indicate who's the owner of something. Voy utilizando los adjetivos posesivos para indicar quién es el dueño de las cosas de las que estoy hablando o a quién pertenecen. For example, my sister, mi hermana, his pillow, su almohada. Ese su que pertenece a un hombre a un niño, maybe, right? Her phone number, same goes to your laptop, our bird in their house. I believe I have more examples. Can somebody help me to read, please? Can somebody help me to read this example, please? This is our car. Our car. Thank you. Next one. Read it, please. It's color, it's color brown. Is brown. It's color is brown. Okay, next one. They are my co worker. Okay, we have another one. Our class is interesting. interesting. Well, next. Your notebook, Your notebook is on the is chair. On the chair. This my, one? Class, yeah. my, class, my class, my classmates are, are, nice. Nice. are nice. Okay. Her, her brother, brother is, is, handsome. is handsome. Its name, name, is, Rocky. name is Rocky. All right, so as you see, we have plenty of examples to illustrate how to use the possessive adjectives. And the important thing here is that we must use the positive adjective together with the object as mentioned in the video. For example, I say my sister, his pillow, hair for number. I say my classmates, her brother, its name. Algo importante y clave de los possessive adjectives es que los utilizamos junto al, al object, al objeto. Es decir, no puedo separar estas dos palabras porque entonces perdería el sentido de lo que estoy diciendo. Uh, for example, here, if I say this is my, si solamente lo dejo hasta acá y digo this is my, my, este es mi, mi qué, right? De qué estoy hablando. Tengo que decir, eh, my sister, mi hermana. Or if I only say, this is sister, esta es hermana, but hermana de quién? Or what am I saying, right? Entonces perdemos el sentido si lo separamos. Cuando estoy indicando posesión con los adjetivos, con los adjectives, tengo que siempre mencionar las dos, el adjective y el object. My sister, his pillow, your laptop, our bird. 
their house. And we got my coworkers, its color. So keep that in mind. Now let's move on. Okay, I have an exercise for you to practice. I'm going to give you some time to go to the breakout rooms and complete it. What you have to do is to write a corresponding possessive adjective. For example, here, where is, what do you write here? What is my, what is this book? My, my. My book, yes, my because it's book. the one for I. So you say, where is my book? Here mm -hmm. is, and then you write the corresponding adjective for we, and so on. Our. Right? Our. Our teacher, oh, okay. very well. Okay, so I'm sending you to the breakout rooms for a moment so you complete the exercise and then we come back and check together. Let me send you now and, and I'll send you a picture to the WhatsApp group. There you go. Did you get the exercise? Yo lo iba a enviar. I ya lo envié. Ya lo envié. No sé si ya lo recibieron. Ajá. I send it. Yes, yes, yes. Ya. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Ya lo recibí. Gracias. All right. You will. Hola. Aquí estamos en el, en el posesivo, adjetivo posesivo. En el primero, como dice I, sería my. My, sí. Acaba de señalar. En el segundo, que es we, sería. Sería old. 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 It would be good that you read the whole uh, yeah. sentence or question, ¿ok? Sería bueno que vayan eh, completando y leyendo cada una de las, de las oraciones o preguntas. So you keep practicing, okay? Uh -huh. She goes to school with your brother. Oh no, with with her. Hola. Para mí así sería. Uh -huh. Tendría que ser her. Ah no, porque está hablando de ella. De ella, her. Her. Ah, her. her. her sí. uh -huh. Y de. Father work in a car factory. De. De. Or. Or. You. You. Or. Or. No sería or. Or father. Or in the one for they. They. The possessive adjective there. Uh -huh. They. Uh, they. Uh, yeah. They father work in a car factory. That's right. Hello, I mean, I mean, your, your I mean, laptop is very expensive. You. Your, your laptop is very expensive. Mm -hmm. Laptop is demasiado cara. O es muy cara. Y el otro sí sería... His, 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 his,
o entretenimiento hobby my, sería my aquí my husband mm -hmm. and I want to go and my home. husband no. sería el it it sería el is quedaría igual Ay. any questions may I help <laughs> number eight sí, teacher <laughs> Number eight. eight. What do you think it is? Teníamos it. la duda si es it. <laughs> it's with it's. S at the end, right? It. We want to see it historical monument. It. Yes. It. Historic historical monument. Number nine, Leila likes her dog. Her. Her. Number ten, it's. Its name is Bobby. Finish. We're done very well. <laughs> Any questions? Any doubts? El it lleva el apóstrofe y la no. s. Cuando es posesivo no, no lleva apóstrofe, es solamente ITS. Uh, it, que, o sea, igual de la misma manera. Yeah, except for the apostrophe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, we're coming back in one minute. Okay. Welcome back. Did, did everybody finish the exercise? In the 10, in the 9, we had doubts. Leila, here. All right, we're done. Thank you. 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 Thank make sure that we all got the right answers so we have the first one we said is mine where is my book right where is my book number two can somebody tell me the answer please uh -huh. oh. our our, our. Oh. yes so it would be here is our teacher Number three, she goes to school with her. Her, 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 brother. her brother. She goes to school with her brother. And the next one, the possessive for day is? They. They they father. Their. Their father. Their father works in a car factory. Number five, the one for you. The possessive for you. Your. 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 So we say your laptop is very expensive. Number six, the one for he? His. 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 Yes, we say his favorite hobby is tennis. Number seven, the possessive for I? Mine. 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 Mm -hmm. so we say my husband and I want to go to Paris. Number eight, we want to see it. 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 Yes, we say it historical monument. And then it's very important to keep in mind that the possessive doesn't take the apostrophe, right? 
Recuérdense que el posesivo es it, que es justamente igual a la forma contractada del, del verb be, sin el apóstrofe, ¿ok? El posesivo no lleva apóstrofe, so please keep that in mind. And then we have number nine, Layla likes hair. Hair. Hair dog. And the last one, number 10. It is. It's, its name is Bobby. Say its name is Bobby. That's how they go. Any questions about this? Any doubts? We clear about it? Okay. All right, sure. let's tell me. Sure. Um, the number one. Yep. Is si es posesivo no sería no. My, tengo duda porque ahí dice si fuera posesivo tendría que ser mine eh, en, en la número uno uh -huh. yeah we say where is my book uh -huh. because eh, we, we are using the possessive adjectives so I mentioned that we use the possessive adjective together with the object right In this case, we're talking about the book. So we say, where is my book? I'm looking for my book. Then uh, if I want to use mine, I should rephrase it like, uh, for example, this is your book. I would say, where is mine? In that case, you can use mine because you are referring to the book, but you are not mentioning it. En este caso, eh, por ejemplo, bueno, acá en el primero, el positive adjective, estoy mencionando el libro. Si yo le quito ese my, no voy a saber de quién es el libro. Entonces, necesito mantenerlo. Y si omito el book, no voy a saber de qué estoy hablando. So, we need both. My book. Where is my book? ¿Dónde está mi libro? Then, in the second example, I go for the possessive pronoun. Acá eh, estoy utilizando el possessive pronoun que sustituye al my book. Porque ya tengo un precedente, entonces acá yo ya sé que estoy hablando de un libro. This is your book. Este es tu libro. Where is mine? ¿Dónde está el mío? So you understand that I'm talking about my book. Ese mío representa mi libro. Pero eh, lo puedo utilizar así porque ya estoy mencionando acá, ¿verdad? Entonces ya la persona con la que estoy hablando podría entender que estoy hablando de mi libro. De libro. Where is mine. Okay. Sin embargo, eh, o sea, necesito tener una referencia clara, ¿verdad? Para utilizar los, los possessive eh, pronouns. Que de hecho ya vamos a, a hacer un, un parcito de ejemplos de eso. Eduardo, do you have a question? For example, for example, uh, this book is mine, is correct. Yes, you can also say that. This book is mine, este libro es mío. Yeah, in that case, you are just indicating that that is your book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right, let's move on. Tell me. Any other questions? Okay. Down. All right. So that is the next thing we're going to do, actually, to compare possessive adjectives to possessive pronouns. So let's talk about them. Uh, we have already explained the possessive adjectives, and we're just making the list, right? The possessive for I is my. Then the adjective for you, what is it? Your. your. It's your. The, what's the adjective for he? Is. 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 She. Her. 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 It. 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 Her. It. 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 <coughs> We. Our. 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 And they. Our. They. 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 Okay, then we have the possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns mine. go like mine. 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 The one for you. Mine. 
Yours. 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 One for his, he? His. 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 There's okay. So Dears. the assignment mentioned before, we have a difference between how to use the possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. So the adjectives must go together with the with the thing they are referring to. For example, I say this is hair um, necklace. This is hair necklace. Or I may also say these are um, say our work. These are, are our work books. So you see I use hair necklace our words. Let me highlight that. So you see, I'm I name well. I use the possessive adjective in the thing I'm referring to. Our word books here next. Then, in the case of the. In the case of the possessive pronouns, I can name the thing I'm referring to at the beginning. For example, I could say this necklace is mine. Or I could only say that it's mine. If I already know that I'm referring to that, I would say it's mine. In este caso, de los possessive pronouns, Puedo utilizar el, el object o la cosa a la que me estoy refiriendo. Al, can you please turn off your microphone? Everybody? Ok, let me do it myself. Can you I think we're ready. Okay, so I was explaining. Um, in the case of the possessive pronouns, we can use the object at the beginning. Podemos utilizar el objeto al inicio. Por ejemplo, cuando digo, this necklace is mine. Pero no puedo decir nunca, my necklace. My necklace would be uh, incorrect. So I say, this necklace is mine. Or in case I want to to um, to express the, the direct possession, I would say this is my necklace, my necklace. But I can never use my necklace. That is not fine. And then if the person I'm talking to already knows that I am referring to the necklace, in el caso de que tal vez eh, la persona con la que yo estoy conversando ya sabe a qué me estoy refiriendo, entonces yo puedo decir solamente it's mine, es mío, right? And then um, let's make another example. These are our word books. So we would say these word books are ours. Or we can say they're ours. You see how they go. And uh, well, Something really important is that we never use the object together with the possessive pronoun. We say mine and ours, but we can never say once again, mine necklace or ours word books. That is not correct. Any questions about this, any doubts? No questions? Okay, let's continue. All 
right, now let's talk about the possessive nouns or possessive ads. Um, la tercera forma de hacer um, eh, o de referirnos a la posesión serían los possessive nouns or the possessive ads. Um, how does it go? Well, it's pretty easy. We have some rules to use the possessive ads. The first one says that in singular nouns, uh, that may refer to person, place, thing, or idea, we add apostrophe and S after the noun. For example, whenever we refer to the car of Rachel, we say Rachel's car is in the garage. Rachel's car. Acá estoy hablando del carro de Rachel. Entonces, para indicar la posesión, lo que hago es agregar un apóstrofe y una S, apóstrofe S, Rachel's car. So that would be um, like saying the car of Rachel. Car of Rachel. Sería indicar la posesión de esta forma. Estoy hablando del carro de Rachel. Pero eh, no utilizamos, normalmente no utilizamos esta estructura, sino que la que vamos a utilizar es la del apóstrofe S, apóstrofe S. And eh, we have to know that the possessive noun always comes before what the person or a thing owns or has. Una cosa muy importante que hay que tener en cuenta es que el apóstrofe S siempre se pone antes de la cosa que, eh, que poseen o que se posee. For example, here, the car. Acá la posesión es el carro. Pero, eh, como se fijan, acá el carro va por último. Tenemos primero el owner, la persona que, que a quien pertenece, que es Rachel, apostrophe S, y luego eh, la cosa de la que estamos hablando, en este caso, the car. So that's how it goes. Any questions so far? So far so good? Okay, rule number two says that in singular nouns ending with S, followed by a word starting with S, we just add an apostrophe to the noun. This is to avoid a hissing sound. A example, they have school is in Malvilla Nagar. Su has sister is a teacher. En el caso de las palabras que ya terminan en S, en su forma original ya lleva S, no vamos a agregar una segunda S, sino que simplemente nos quedamos con el apóstrofe. They has school. Su has sister. Entonces, acá ya no necesitamos agregar otra S, porque sería un poco difícil la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Iríamos a eso que es el hissing sound. Entonces, eh, simplemente agrego el apóstrofe y ya estoy indicando la posesión. ¿Any questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas, consultas? Quizás lo podríamos ver mañana un poco más tranquilo, yes. teacher. Of course. Para que nos explique nuevamente. And yes, of course, we're going to continue talking about this tomorrow and we are going to have some practice as well. Mañana tendríamos una mejor explicación y también eh, más práctica para que okay. podamos ubicarnos mejor. So don't worry about it. Thank okay. you. Okay, so that will be all for today's class. I hope you have a good night. Remember to uh, continue working in the platform, please. Remember, it's very important that you finish the platform this week or, well, as soon as possible. So keep, keep going. And um, if you need any help, just let me know through the WhatsApp group or through my personal WhatsApp. Just, uh, I'm here to help, okay? So okay. good night, everyone. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.